Every year, Samsung Galaxy owners face the same problem. Some people get system updates earlier, others later. I solved this problem for myself very simply. This year I installed Android 13 on my Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra by myself. Today I will tell you how to properly install Android 13 on your Galaxy S22 Ultra or any other Galaxy devices. For this we will need a smartphone, don't forget to make a backup of your data. USB Type-C cable, of course, and PC or any Windows laptop and a special software called Odin, which you can download from the link in the description to this video. Go to the galaxyfirmware.com and search for the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Then pick up your Galaxy S22 Ultra, open settings and go to the About Phone menu. This is where we look at the model number of your smartphone. My Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra runs on Exynos processor. That's the name of my model. On this website I choose the latest software version and download it to my computer. After downloading, unzip all the files from the archive. There should be five of them. Then download the app called Odin. Go to the odindownload.com and download the latest version of Odin. You will get a zip archive, which you should unzip to any place you like. At the first start of the app you will see a message in Chinese. No problem, just press OK. Then the wall interface will be in English. As you can see, five models in this application coincide with the file names of the firmware we downloaded. We have model BL, AP, CP, CSC and user data. Now it's time to properly connect your phone in the download mode. To enable download mode on the Galaxy S22 Ultra, you need to do the following. Connect the USB cable to your computer, but don't plug it into your phone. Turn the phone off by pressing volume down and power button combination. Now press volume up and volume down at the same time and holding them connect the cable to the phone. Then press up key to continue. Now we have enabled the downloading mode on your Galaxy S22 Ultra. It is time to open the Odin app. If you have done everything correctly, you should see the new connected device in the first mini window. Now the Odin app needs to specify our firmware files. These are the five files that we have downloaded. Since the files are large, the application will need time to recognize each file. It all depends on power of your PC or laptop. The last file to be uploaded to the Odin application in the user data section is called home. Once all the files have been uploaded to the application, press start and wait for the update to complete. Your phone may reboot during the update process and eventually you will see the long-awaited update on your Galaxy S22 Ultra or any Galaxy device you choose. This guide is suitable for all modern Samsung phones. It has worked for years and will work for years to come. If you don't want to wait for your service provider to send you an update, you can do it yourself at any time. This guide also allows you to repair a Samsung phone if there are software issues with them. I hope this video was useful for you. Subscribe to the channel and don't miss a new video. Bye!